whole yeah. thing for you. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I, no, I've been, I've been good. just trying to be there, you know, for him in yeah. any way that I can. Uh, you know, obviously, it's something that I've kind of known about um, for quite some time. So I just, you know, do as much as I can for him, be there for him, and uh, just kind of, it's kind of a day by day thing, honestly. So every day is different. Some days is great. Some days not so great. And just kind of roll with the punches and again be be whatever I need to be for him. Do you kind of notice any changes in his behavior in the court? Your mom kind of mentioned Eastern Illinois, and then she kind of really saw it. Uh, I would say his his energy level um, definitely takes a hit at some of these times, and I and I think it's because you know he throws up like you you're really nauseous and, and throw up all the time, uh, and so you know never anything in his body his appetite is affected. There's you know everything he said in his statement. Uh, be really nauseous, so he couldn't eat, and you know, it's just not a not a recipe for trying to compete at this level um, in the way that he maybe used to. So it, it's definitely, I definitely think it's something that he's always dealt with. But I, I could see where maybe it was picked up a little bit more recently. But I, I don't know. It's still something that he's been dealing with since almost high school. So. Did you advise him to maybe? It's okay to step away, and if you're not letting your teammates down. You need to take care of yourself. Yeah, no, I told him whatever he needed to do to be himself was what he should do. There's nothing like he's made a comment to me like I, I feel like I have to play. I said, no, you don't. Like if you if you don't feel like you're in a position like you're waking up sick and you don't feel good and everything feels wrong and you're not in a place where you're enjoying what, what we have going, then you you do not have to play. Like we will be able to, you know, I mean, I'll do whatever I got to do, you know, to stand up for him and so everybody else in the locker room. It's not like, it's not like he was obligated to do anything. And so I think um, it was mature of him to, to step up and say something brave. Um, you know, I'm proud of him for sure. And yeah. your dad said that you were kind of on board when he wanted to, to say the reason why he's stepping away where, you know, sometimes people would wouldn't want to reveal that, but yeah. do you feel like he's helping? Yeah, because I don't, people? I don't think it's a, I don't think it's something to be looked poorly upon. Like I, I think it's, I think it's brave. Like I said, like I, I feel like people will understand, and I think he's actually helping a lot of people by doing that. Um, and I've always been kind of, in, in my opinion, at least like, like if you're open and honest about things, like you might feel better yourself because you don't feel like you're holding things in and holding, you know, you're kind of just. Like, hey, this is what this is what's going on, and just being honest and upfront about it, and so you're not feeling like you're keeping things from people. So I think that there's definitely promoted that, but then also just like the outreach and support that, like I thought that could help, and I knew, like I didn't want him to do this and be nervous about saying why, and then have people like speculating and making things up and talk. Like I don't like obviously, you you could have run into something like that. Hopefully not, but you never know. And but I think the fact that he was open and honest about it. Is it helped with all of the support that he's received? Um, you know, I my phone was blowing up last night, and I know mean, his was like a hundred times out. Just people reaching out and being being so nice in every way and just thoughtful, and, and I think that that's something that definitely really helped him. You're kind of the Twitter warrior of the family. Um, <laughs> did you kind of expect this outpouring of support? And like knowing him and knowing what kind of person he was, did you kind of expect people to? Respect, react, react the way they are. Yeah, you know, I, I so like I've, I haven't been on Twitter, so I wasn't sure like what's, I, I haven't seen everything. I, I re-downloaded it just to, you know, throw the tweet out there and support him, obviously, but I, I still didn't see everything. But I, I know that the, the support and outreach has been great on all social media platforms and texts, like Snapchats. I'm getting Instagram DMs about him. Like it's just been, the, the support has been awesome. Uh, and I and I I think that I I did expect that a little bit. Um, at least I, I hoped for that, and I and I thought that generally people understand, you know, or don't understand, but try to understand and try to be, you know, uh, somebody who's thoughtful and caring in situations like this. Are you all right? Because it's a burden for everybody. I'm all right. I mean. I'm, I'm good. Burden's not the word I necessarily meant, but it's mm -hmm. something you have to deal with. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I, I just want to deal with it for, for him. You know, I'm, I, it's not like, you know, it's going to, I don't know. I feel like I can't really be affected negatively by it. Like, I kind of just got to be, like, I 
be there for him. Just got to deal with it as the day goes 